ओके थर्टी सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम थ्री आइडेंटिकल पॉइंट चार्जेस प्लस टू माइक्रोकलम ईच आर प्लेसड एट द थ्री कॉर्नर्स ए बी एंड सी रेस्पेक्टिवली ऑफ ए स्क्वेर ए बी सी डी ऑफ साइड पॉइंट वन मीटर कैलकुलेट द रिजल्ट एंड फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द चार्ज एट बी ओके दिस इज स्क्वेर ए बी सी डी दे हैव गिवन थर्टी सेवन ए बी सी डी ओके द आइडेंटिकल पॉइंट चार्जेस प्लस टू माइक्रोकुलर एंड साइड इज पॉइंट वन प्लस टू माइक्रोकुलम बीच ओके बी रिजल्ट एंड फोर्स ऑन बी हाउ मच दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस ए इज गोइंग टू एक्सर्ट फोर्स ऑन बी एज दिस इज प्लस दिस इज ऑल्सो प्लस so this is f a so c is also going to uh, exert force on b this is also plus this is also plus so repulsive this is f c so resultant force will be like this that is f and this theta is 90 degree okay given क्यू ए क्यू बी क्यू सी गिवन रिजल्ट एंड फोर्स एफ क्वेश्चन मार्क फॉर्मुला वील राइट एफ इक्वल टू एफ ए स्क्वेर एफ सी स्क्वेर प्लस टू एफ ए एफ सी कॉस थीटा हियर थीटा इक्वल टू वॉट नाइंटी डिग्री कॉस नाइंटी डिग्री विल बी जीरो सो दिस होल टर्म विल बी जीरो देर फोर एफ इक्वल टू वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ एफ ए स्क्वेर प्लस एफ सी स्क्वेर एंड एफ ए इक्वल टू फॉर्मुला नाइन इंटू टेन टू द पावर नाइन दिस इज एफ ए क्यू ए इंटू क्यू बी डिवाइडेड बै ए बी स्क्वे नाइन इंटू टेन टू द पावर नाइन क्यू ए इज टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स And this is also two into ten to the power minus six. A B is point one, point one square. So nine two is a eighteen. Eighteen two is a thirty six. Into ten to the power nine minus six minus six divided by one into ten to the power minus two. So that will be thirty six into ten to the power nine minus twelve plus. So thirty six into ten to the power minus one. That will be what three point six newton. This is F A. And F B. Sorry, F C. Nine into ten to the power nine. Q C into Q B divided by B C square. All all the given are same. Identical charges are there, and it is square. So again, we will get what three point six newton. Here, F C is three point six newton. So resultant force. One shortcut is also there that I am going to explain later. Three point six into three point six, twelve point nine six. Square root five point zero nine one. Here one C E T point C E T. 
if f1 is equal to f2 and theta is one to, uh, sorry 90 degree then resultant force f equal to square root of 2 times either f1 or square root of 2 times either f2 so this you remember so uh, you you can prove here also so this i take as 2 times 3.6 square here square root of 2 3.6 square square root cancels into 3.6 so if you do again you will get what the same concept this is 37 next 38 read 38 3 positive charges 3 nanocoulomb 4 nanocoulomb and 5 nanocoulomb are placed at the vertices a b and c respectively of an equilateral triangle a b c of side point to meter find the magnitude of force on the largest charge here identify the largest charge largest charge is 5 nanocoulomb so force on the 5 nanocoulomb you have to find A, B and this will be C I take. 3 nanocoulomb, 4 nanocoulomb and this will be 5 nanocoulomb. All are positive. So here I take C, 5 nanocoulomb. Okay. Offside 0.2 meter. If equilateral triangle theta will be 90 degree. This A exerts force on C. So this is also positive and this is also positive. It is repulsive. So this is F A. B also exerts force on C. This is also plus. This is also plus. So away. this is F B. F A and F B two forces. Its resultant is F. This theta is 60 degree. Because these are all 60 degree. Equilateral triangle. So here therefore theta equal to what? 60 degree. Cos to 60 degrees 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Okay. We will write formula. F equal to square root of F A square F B square 2 F A F B cos theta. So formula for F A 9 into 10 to the power 9 q a into q c divided by a c square f b equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 q b into q c divided by b c square okay now we will do calculation first one we will find f a q a q c divided by a c square q a is 3 nanocoulomb q c is 5 nanocoulomb a c Plus 9 minus 9 cancels. 9 into 3 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 4 into it will be 10 to the power minus 2. So do calculation. 9 3 into 5 divided by 4. 9 into 3 into 5. 135 divided by 4. It will be 33.75. 
minus 2 if it goes to the numerator plus 2 minus 9 plus 2 it is minus 7 this is f a next f b we will calculate q b is 4 nanocoulomb plus 9 minus 9 cancels Four into ten to the power minus two. Four four cancels. Nine five is a forty five into ten to the power. See minus nine plus two will be minus seven. Sorry. So here also say minus nine. This is minus two. If it goes to the numerator, it will become plus two. Minus nine plus two minus seven. Note. Therefore, third one is resultant. So calculation you do. Next, forty five into forty five, two zero two five. Plus two into thirty three point seven five into forty five three zero three seven point five. Okay, add all this. Square root seventy eight point seven five. Minus fourteen will be common, so square root of minus fourteen is minus seven. Next thirty ninth problem. Read thirty nine point charges of plus 10 nanocoulomb, minus 10 nanocoulomb, minus 20 nanocoulomb and plus 20 nanocoulomb are placed at the corners A, B, C and D respectively of a square. A, B, C, D of side 0 0.05 meter. Calculate resultant force on the charge at D. Already done solve Madi Taiti. Square. A, B, C and this will be D. A plus 10 nanocoulomb. B minus 10 nanocoulomb. C 
minus 20 nanocoulomb and D will be what plus this plus okay A exert force on D so this is also plus this is also plus this is F A B is minus so it exerts force on D plus so this is F B so I take here D that is plus 20 nanocoulomb okay and C also exerts force on D this is plus this is minus it will attract so this is F C now we will find F A F B and F C three forces are acting on D we want one force so we will find uh, resultant of uh, either you can find F A F C or F B F C anyhow you can do we will find a resultant of F A and F C that will be what F so this is 45 degree because it diagonal bisects this is 90 degree so this is also 45 this is also 45 so we need to find this alpha this is 45 degree so alpha we want f and f b resultant will be somewhere here that we have to find square is there side is 0 0.05 meter so we need diagonal also b d square we will find let now to find so we will call f a and f c F, F1. Resultant of F1 and F will be F. First one. To find FA. FA is force between A and D. Phi square is 25 into 10 to the power minus 5. So do calculation. You can do orally also. 9 to the 18. 1800 divided by 25. 10 to the power minus 9 and plus 4. 1800 divided by 25. 72. Okay, this is F A. Similarly, we will find F B. F B is force between B and D. Q B into Q D. So, we will find B D square bd square equal to bc square plus uh, dc square zero point zero five We'll check it 0 0.05 square 0 0.0025 okay 0 0.005 bd square okay we'll find here
बीडी स्क्वायर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो प्लस नाइन माइनस नाइन कैंसिल दिस आई टेक एस फिफ्टी इनटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस फोर वन जीरो वन जीरो कैंसिल नाइन टू द एटीन वन एटी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव इनटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइन प्लस फोर वन एटी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव थर्टी सिक्स वन एटी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स इनटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस फाइव न्यूटन दिस इज एफ बी दिस इज एफ ए नाउ वी विल फाइंड व्हाट एफ सी एफ सी इज फोर्स बिटवीन सी एंड डी substitute the values qc 20 and qd is also 20 bcd is 0.05 square plus 9 minus 9 cancels 9 into 20 into 20 divided by 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus 9 okay do simplification 5 fours are 5 fives are 5 ones are 5 fours are Nine four is thirty six. This is F C. Okay. Now here F B equal to F C. So we will find the resultant of. We can change it here. No need to find F C and F B are same. They resultant bisects. Then forty five half is what? So this angle will come, and this will be what ninety degree. So we can do easily. See actually what is there? So this is F A. This is what F C, and this is what F B. F A and F C are same. So we will find resultant of F B and F C as F one. And now we will find F one and this F a result that is somewhere here that I take as F. So this is ninety degree, ninety, and this is alpha. So this total angle will be F one and F two. This will be total angle theta. So here theta equal to ninety degree plus alpha. Alpha by six forty five divided by two. Forty-five divided by two, so ninety degree plus forty-five divided by two, twenty-two point five. Another one ninety addition, man. Right, so we'll get one hundred twelve point five theta. Okay, so uh, fourth step resultant of F C and F B and F C that is F one. As F B is equal to F C, therefore F one bisects. Hence, alpha equal to forty five divided by two. That is twenty two point five degree. Okay, now we will find the resultant. F one equal to square root of F B square F C square two F B F C cos theta. Here theta equal to forty five degree. Actually, this will be what if F C F B we want to find resultant of F B and F C. So this is theta presently now. Theta will be forty five degree. Because the diagonal bisects, 
cos 45 degree you can use log table also if you don't remember so you can find cos 45 degree here 1 by root 2 actually it is 1 by root 2 how much you will get so cos 45 degree 0 0.707771 1 by square root of 2 is again we will get this only square root of 2 is 0 0.1414 so 8 by 2 so 1 divided by I take 1.414 square root of 2 so we'll get 0 0.7072 0 0.7072 okay FB is 36 into cos theta is 70 0 0.7072 do all this 2 into 36 into 36 into 0 0.7072 1833 into 10 to the power minus 10 so we will add 1296 plus 1296 plus 1833 4425 it's a square root 66.52 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton this is f1 so now we will find resultant of f1 and F A that will be F fifth one resultant of F one and F A is F. Theta. Substitute F1, how much you got just now? You got 66.52 into 10 to the power minus 5. FA is 72. FA is 72 into 10 to the power minus 5. Cos angle will be 112.5. Okay. So, cos you have to find the value. We will find here cos 90 plus theta, we will do. So cos 90, 112.5 minus 90, 22.5. Cos 90 plus theta is 
find this value cos 90 plus theta is minus sin theta theta is here 22.5 degree ok minus natural signs 22.5 degree means it is 30 so this is minus sine 22 degree point 0.5 degree means 30 minutes ok if you find 22 degree here 30 minutes see 0. 0.5 degree equal to 30 minutes ok this is the value 0. 0.3827 we will fill up here now you do the calculation 66.52 into 66.52 4424.9 into 10 to the power minus 10 plus 72 into 72 5184 into 10 to the power minus 10 so it will be minus okay 2 into 66.52 into 72 into 0 0.3827 so 3665.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 ok add these two 4424.9 plus 5184 equal to 9608.9 minus 3665.8 5943.1 5943.1 into 10 to the power minus 10 square root 77.09 77.09 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton this is resultant force so this you should know cos 90 plus theta equal to minus sin theta so now read 48th problem Point charges of plus 10 microcoulomb, plus 20 microcoulomb and minus 4 microcoulomb are placed at the corners A, B and C respectively of a right angle triangle. If A, B equal to 1 meter, B, C equal to 0.6 meter and A, C equal to 0.8 meter, then calculate resultant force on the charge at C. So they have given AB 1 meter. So this will be 1. This is A, B and this will be what obviously C. BC is 0.6 meter. And this is AC that is 0.8 meter. Okay. Plus 10 micro kilo. Plus 20 micro kilo. And this is minus 4 micro kilo. A is A exerts force on C. So A is plus this is minus. So this is F A. So this plus is going to attract minus towards. So B also exerts force on C. This is plus this is minus. So again it will attract. So this I take as B. The resultant of F A is and F B is F. 
and this will be what theta 90 degrees okay we will find f we will write formula so here theta equal to 90 degree cos 90 degrees 0 so directly I take f a square plus f b square okay we will write formula for f a f a is force between a and c and f b is force between b and c okay we will do calculation So do calculation here. 9 tens are 19, 9, 9 fours are 36, 360 divided by 64 into 10 to the power 9 minus 12 plus 2. 360 divided by 64. 5.625 into 10 to the power minus 1. So 0. Point 5625 Newton. This is F. Now we will find F B. F B is force between B and C. QB is 20 microcoulomb, QC is 4 microcoulomb and B to C is 0. 0.6 square. 9 into 20 into 4 divided by 36 into 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power 9 minus 6 minus 6 into calculation. 4 ones are 4 nines are 9 and cancel so it will be 20 into 10 to the power minus 1 so it is 2 newton. So now we will find resultant. Therefore, F equal to zero point five six two five square zero point five six two five into 0 0.5625 0 0.3164 plus 4 so that will be 4.3164 its square root is 2.0 so next 41 the last problem read
two positive charges A and B kept in air 0.1 meter apart experiences a force of 16.2 Newton. If the charge B is 6 microcoulomb, find the charge A. If another charge C of 2 microcoulomb is placed between A and B at a distance of 0.04 meter from A, find the resultant force on the charge C. Okay. Case 1 we will find first. This is A, B, the distance D for CF given. Force is 16.2 Newton. Distance is 0.1 meter. In air it is. Charge QB is 6 microcoulomb. QA question mark. F is QA as it is QB is 6 into 10 to the power minus F. D square 0.1 square ok 16 into 0 0.1 square is 0, 0.0 I take this 9 into 10 to the power 9 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 equal to QA ok 16 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 9 into 6 into 10 to the power 9 minus 6 equal to QA. Therefore, QA equal to do simplification. 16 divided by 16 divided by 9 divided by 6 0 0.296. 0 0.296 into 10 to the power minus 2 this will be what 3 minus 3 so QA equal to 0 0.296 into 10 to the power minus 5 so QA equal to shift 1 point 0 0.96 micro -plan. this is QA this is case 1. Now case 2. Case 2. So now we know given we know QA that is 2.96 microcoulomb. QB they have given already 6 microcoulomb. This is A, this is B, the distance between them is 0 0.1 meter in air. So another charge QC is placed here that is 0 0.04 meter from A then this will be what 0 0.06. So here C. QA is also plus QB is also plus QC is also plus. A exerts force on C that is repulsive force FA. B also exerts force on C that is also repulsive force FB. Both are on the same straight line and in the opposite direction. So resultant force is FA difference FB. So now we will find FA and FE. FA 9 into 10 to the power 9 QA QC divided by AC square. This is C. So, okay, 9 into 10 to the power 9, QA is 2.96 into 10 to the power minus 6 and QB, sorry, QC is 2 microcoulomb, 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and distance is 0 0.04 square. Into 10 to the power 9 minus 6 minus 6. Do calculation. 2 ones are 2 eight is a 9 into 2.96 26.64 
divided by 8. That is 3.33. 3.33 into 10 to the power 9 minus 12 plus 4. So 33.33 Newton. 9 plus 4 how much 13? 13 minus 12 means 1. 10 to the power 1 means into 10. So 33.33. Similarly we will find Fb. 9 into 10 to the power 9 QB into QC divided by BC square. 9 into 10 to the power 9 QB is 6 micro club and QC is 2 divided by BC 0 0.06 square. 9 into 6 into 2 divided by 36 10 to the power 9 minus 6 minus 6 this will be minus 4 plus 4. 9 ones are 9 fours are 4 ones are 4 twos are 2 ones are 2 threes are so 3 into 10 to the power 1 so that is 30 newton. So here F A is greater than F B therefore net force F equal to F A minus F B F A is 33.3 F B is 30 so 3.33 newton. This is resultant force. All 41 problems completed in charges. I hope you are perfect. Do revision every day. So in the next class we will solve problems on electric field. So already so I uploaded the PDF file of electric field problems. So how many problems are there total? 37 problems are there. So in the next class we will start solving problems on electric field.